Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Chris Gagne along with Calvin Castine on camera with Hometown Cable. We're here at Northeastern Clinton Central School in Champlain. We have the Northeastern Clinton girls hosting the Osable Valley Patriots here in Northern Soccer League action. Beautiful night tonight, about 60 degrees. Supposed to get down to about 46 tonight, so definitely feeling like fall weather the last couple days. Uh, Monday, nearly 90 degrees. Yesterday, I'd say 85, 86, and very humid, so today was much needed relief. I'm enjoying this much better, Calvin. Yeah, we've been happy with some rain in those clouds. Yeah, we definitely need some rain, and uh, you have to feel bad for the people of uh, Virginia, North Carolina, and South Carolina. They're going through the aftermath of Hurricane Florence, uh, Probably some of the most devastating flooding that uh, area has ever seen in history. And uh, our grass up here is all turning brown, so. Yeah, I don't know where you put three feet of, of rain. No, can't imagine that. So a little back and forth action here to start. Uh, Kate Houghton taking the throw in right here in front of us, number 21. She's looking to the middle of the field for Leah Colomb. It's supposed to be a big game, Chris. Uh, Kendrick's across the road here from us. And that's Boyer clearing that out from the right defensive side. It's McComb trying to work the left wing. And we have Bryn Sample, speedy Bryn Sample on the far side. Looking back to her midfield for some help. And that's broken up by the Patriots. It's nice to see News Channel 5, Ken Drake, making it up here to Champlain for this game. Hopefully there will be some good highlights for the news tonight at 11. Well, the Patriots breaking into the offensive end for the first time of the game. And I thought they were going to have the throw in, and um, referee says it's a Cougar throw in. So Cougars throwing that up to midfield. Long ball played in by the Patriots, and Hollister lets that right over the end line. So Gagne will be stepping back to take this goal kick for the Cougars. I've been pointing out every game here this year that uh, the home team now wears the school colors and the visitors are the white. So people watching for the first time will understand why, why the home team isn't uh, in white. Uh, the visitors are now the white ones. Mm -hmm. Little changes every year in the rules. I uh, heard the girls talking last year that their Under Armour had to be the same color as their on, uniform, so they bought uh, maroon Under Armour, and now they can wear black as well, or I'm not sure if it's any color or black, but um, so there's a change in that as well, I guess. But So a ball played over the sideline by the Patriots defense, and Houghton once again taking this throw in. Back to McComb, we got Marley Sample up in this corner. Sample stepping in, making a nice tackle there. Looking into the 18, LaFountain breaking in, just couldn't get it. McComb with a shot and unable to get a good foot on that. So McComb playing some offense tonight. Uh, that's a long ball played in by Hollister, stepping up from the defensive position, and that's picked up by the Osable goalkeeper Corey Stillwell. So McComb, typically an offensive player, uh, she's spent a lot of last year and uh, the start of this year playing defense and uh, been moved up here and there. And every time she gets moved up to the offensive position, Calvin, she seems to score a goal. So uh, her heads up play, determination and speed up there really helping the Cougars out was scoring. So we'll have to see if that continues tonight. The Patriots are just two players on the bench. They, uh, they better hope they can uh, you know, keep the Cougars off the boards early. Well, this is only two subs that comes down to conditioning and there's a nice ball played up the middle of the defense. And Hollister back to clear that one out looking for Boer on this near side. 
Cologne getting called for a handball there. And the Patriots will have a direct kick just inside their offensive half of the field. I don't think we mentioned uh, on camera the referees. Jeff oh. Dickinson on the far side and Leonard L.P. Bayshard on this side. That ball played into the 18. Gagneau chesting that one down and sends it back out to midfield. In our lineup for tonight's game, the Osceola Valley Patriots, we have number one, Rihanna Prentice, number two, Lydia Bruno, three, Lily Kaiser, four, Kate Knapp, five, Taylor Hackett, six, Marlena Mauskas, seven, Sophie Rennie, eight, Haley Tender, nine, Jillian Bazio, ten, Jenna Stanley, eleven, Emily Remillard, fifteen, Emma Crowning Shield, and the Patriots goalkeeper, Corey Stilwell. Head coach for the Patriots, Lindsey Kaiser. That ball played all the way up to Prentice. Prentice from the sweeper position looking to that right side of the field, and that's out of bounds at midfield. Cougars line up for tonight. Number one, Kaya McComb. Two, Emma Fredette. Three, Addison Sample. Four, Gabby Dumas. Five, Sarah Grennan. Ball into the 18, and still well. Good communication there. Calls off her defense, and she picks that up at the 18. Six, Miriam Waktumi, seven, Maggie LaFountain, eight, Amy Visconti, nine, Allison Gregoire, 11, Audie Hollister, 12, Brindley LaFountain, 13, Marley Sample, 14, Haley Letourneau, 15, Leah Colomb, 16, Alexa Cronkrite, 17, Carissa Gay, and there's McComb breaking free, takes it to the right, she's going to break in all alone, she's at the top of the 18, looks to take a shot, and a good job defensively right there, looked like McComb was going to break in all alone, and she was tracked down by Prentice. And Prentice doing a great job keeping the Cougars off the score scoreboard there. Sound like the fans looking for a little push. But good effort by both players there. So Osable transitioning here. That'll be over the end line, and Mr. Bashard. Signaling for a goal kick for the Cougars. So let's see, we had 17 Chris Agay, 18 Bryn Sample, 21 Kate Houghton, 22 Olivia Gagne, 23 Taylor Goodrow, 24 Emily Boyer. The goalkeeper, Abby Racine. And Gagne clears that out. Head coach for the Cougars, Mr. Tim Suprana, Mr. Tim Mata, and McKenna Hunter, who is also the JV coach. That'll be Marley Sample on the far side. Prentice, once again, she's all over the field playing some great defense here early. The Fountain and Sample working. Ball inside the 18 to Bryn Sample. Sample, a nice cross right at the top of the six yard box, and that's just past Houghton, and it appears that it will stay in. Good hustle there by McComb. McComb cutting it back in. Sends it into the six, a shot taken there by Sample, and didn't get a whole lot on it, and that's cleared out once again by the Patriots. Dumas looking to play that one, and broken up by Stanley. Stanley looking up to her offense. Kaiser with the ball, cutting it back to the right side. Sends a nice through ball, and deflected by Hollister, and almost into the foot of Jenna Stanley, but Abby Racine out to pick that one up. So both teams with some good op offensive opportunities here early in the game. We're down to 30 minutes left in the first half. Kaiser looking to chip that ball into the 18 and that's broken up by the Cougars. So we'll have our first substitution of the game. We have Cronkrite coming in to the game. We'll have Boer headed to the sideline. Good job over here on the near side for Boer at the start of this game. We'll have a foul called on the Patriots. So Gagne will be stepping over to take this one. <clears throat> so I was able to just catch the end of the JV game. Very good game going into 
Overtime, it was a 1-1 tie, and the Cougars scoring the go-ahead and winning goal in the first 10-minute overtime. So Mr. Dickinson pacing out 10 yards. Patriots holding their line at the 18. Gagno playing a ball up and broken up by the Patriots. Sample looking into the middle to Marley Sample. Marley Sample gets a left foot on it and chips it wide near side of the net. We have Sample at the top of the 18, looks to rip a shot, and that's going to be a slow roller, and still well picking that one up. So good job there by Cronkrite stepping up to head that ball up the field. She's looking for an open player and playing it up to Prentice, who... Clears it for the Patriots. And that's Hackett on her near side at midfield playing that ball out of bounds, and we'll have a stoppage here for Cougar substitutions. We have Haley Letourneau, number 14, and number 9, Allie Gregoire coming into the game. So the Cougars coming off a, a tough loss on Tuesday night. They played the Saranac Chiefs. Uh, Chiefs, a really good team this year. Uh, Cougars went up 1-0 on a goal by Kaya McComb in the first half. And uh, Chiefs coming back to tie it with, it was about three minutes left in the game. Game going to overtime and the Chiefs getting the eventual game winner in overtime, but very hard fought game by both teams, very entertaining. And um, both teams with some good scoring opportunities. Abby Racine actually having a great game and goal for the Cougars. A uh, couple breakaways by the Chiefs that she was able to come out of the net and break those up. So uh, entertaining game. And so far this season, the Cougars, I think, are right around 500 on the win-loss sheet. They started out the season. There's McComb picking up the goal kick inside the 18, cuts it back to her left, takes a shot, and just past the diving goalkeeper of the Osable Patriots and the Cougars with 26-51 left here in the first half. Go up 1-0 on an unassisted goal by Kaya McComb. Cougar goal scored by number one, Kaya McComb. So Cougar is going up one nothing here. Kaya McComb doing a great job, heads up play, picking up the Osceola Valley Patriots goal kick, making a quick move to the left and sending that ball in the back of the net. So as I stated earlier, uh, moving her up to the offensive end usually seems to give the Cougars a little energy and uh, she tends to pick up a goal when she's up there. So congratulations to her and hopefully the Cougars can keep that up here in this game. Home at the midfield looking up for Sample and that ball's played to the Patriots Kate Knapp and on the far side Jillian Bazayo making a run down the sideline she's battling with Gagno 
going to the end line and that ball sent into the six yard box and Hollister will clear that one. The Cougars competed in the Saranac Invitational at the start of the season. They picked up a win. Nice ball played across the field. Gregoire looking to split the seam there and break in on that, and that was broken up. So Jenna Stanley playing a ball up here on the left side. That's Taylor Hackett. And... That ball turned outside and out of bounds. That was number 16, Alexa Cronkrite. Cougars substituting. We have number two, Emma Fredette. And on the far side, that's number 12, Brinley LaFountain coming back into the game for the Cougars. So as I said in the opening Saranac tournament, the Cougars picking up a win in the semifinal opening game of the tournament against Franklin Academy. And then, uh, as was the other night, they had a hard-fought battle against the Saranac Chiefs in the championship game. And uh, that game ended up going to a shootout with the Saranac Chiefs winning. Uh, first regular season of the game, Cougars picked up a 3-1 win over the Peru Indians, a little bit of a slow start for the Cougars. They went down one nothing and ended up scoring three un unanswered goals and uh, won that game. Uh, three nothing win against the uh, Saranac Lake Red Storm here at Northeastern. And then after that, down at PHS, the Cougars were defeated by the Lady Hornets three nothing. So for that, nice ball back to Dumas in the middle. Dumas unable to find a player up on offense to play that too. And once again, for that, we'll pick that ball up. Ball played into Marley Sample. She looks to get a good bounce and unfortunately couldn't get around the defender and still well out to grab that one again. Fredette looking to switch fields and Cronkrate on the far side will play it over to Healy Letourneau, but that goes out of bounds. So the Cougars are the defending Northern Soccer League Class B champions. Cougars last year upending the Beatman Town Eagles in the championship down at Shazy. Moving on to the state regionals where they played Potsdam over in Augensburg. They suffered a loss, but uh, definitely an amazing season for the Cougars last year. Um, that was the sectional champion. Yes. Not the, not the league. Northern, well, Northern Soccer League Section 7 <laughs> uh, Class B Championship and uh, I'm sure if you ask Coach Superno it's probably one of the most memorable, memorable wins of uh, his high school girls oh, soccer career. They were three time defending champions and uh, I don't think many people gave us a, a chance at winning that game. McComb looking inside the 18, sends a low ball in. That'll be wide of the goal and good heads up play by the keeper to let it go out. And the Patriots will have a goal kick. Well, they'll have a rematch with Beekman Town in uh, two days from now. Yes, they will. And Beekman Town once again looking good, uh, I think. No more Villa Maris, though. No, but they still got some uh, offensive weapons from last year. Uh, that are back on the team and uh, they're playing well so far this year. I, I know they, as far as I know, I don't think they've lost yet. Let's 
turn. We'll turn in the wheels on the far side, looking across, and that's deflected over the end line, and we'll have a Cougar corner kick. It'll be their first corner kick of the game, and Hollister will be running up from the sweeper position to take that one. Nice corner into Houghton. Houghton getting ahead on it into the six-yard box and deflected over the end line by a Patriot. And the Cougars try the same thing once more. So second corner kick of the game for the Cougars. We're down to 19.25 left here in the first half. Cougars up 1-0 on an unassisted goal by Kaya McComb. And Houghton looking to take a shot. Nice shot there. Once again deflected by the defense and cleared over the end line by Jenna Stanley. So the Cougars stacked up at the 18. Ball's played out to the top of the 18. And Stanley once again there to send this one out of play. Gagno coming in for Dumas. Gagno picking that ball at midfield, turning it in, looks to take a shot, deflected off the back of a Patriot, and that'll go right to the goalkeeper. You had a chance to see the Beaton Town girls play at this year, Calvin? Yes, I've seen them a couple of times. And? And they're good. I saw them against Saranac at, uh, at Beaton Town. The game went to overtime. All right, we'll have a foul called here on the Patriots, a hold by Mr. Bayshard, and Cougars will have a free kick just inside their offensive end. In fact, it, that game made me late here because I was covering that 4.30 game and I was going to come here for the Saranac late game, but I got here kind of late because of the overtime. Is that the one I left you high and dry on? <laughs> Didn't show up, Saranac Lake? <laughs> uh, yep, no, you were busy. Well, this season kind of reminds me of last with this uh, Division I. Um, I don't think there's any clear-cut top team right now uh, depending on what day it is and how they're playing. I think uh, Peru, Northeastern, Town, Saranac, PHS, they're all uh, pretty equal and any one of them can win on any night. So it'll be interesting to see what happens when sectionals roll around and as I say, it's, uh, it's which team can improve the most throughout the season and put together a good game at the end. So Stanley playing a long ball up to her offense and Lily Kaiser looking to track that one down. She's working hard there and uh, I'll give a little shout out to number 10, uh, Jenna Stanley. She's all over the place back there on defense for her team, working hard and trying to keep the Cougars from getting their second goal here in the first half. We're down to 15 minutes and 40 seconds remaining in the first half and Houghton looking for Fredette up this near side and that's just got a little too much on it. Remillard with a throw in that midfield.
Houghton looking to cut that seam, and she does. And on the far side, Miriam Waktumi looking to break into the 18, and that's broken up by the sweeper for the Patriots, Ryan Apprentice. So the Cougars making some changes here, and I see Carissa Gay, number 17, will be into the game here on the right side of the field. We have the Patriots on the right side, Kaiser with the ball. She's got three Cougars on her, and that's taken away and sent up the field. McComb looking up the field and unfortunately played it to the Patriots player rather than a Cougar, and the Patriots bring it down the near side. Taylor Hackett working the ball, and Goes over to Kaiser, back to Hackett. Hackett at the corner of the 18, gets a shot off, and Gagno clearing that one out. We're in sample, stepping by one, just a little too much in front of her. And that's sent out of bound by Prentice. So the Cougars sub in once more. We'll have Marley Sample back into the game and Coach Tim Suprana subbing very frequently here and uh, have to wonder if he's trying to run the Patriots out of breath. Gagno playing a ball up into the 18. Houghton breaking in and just a little late on that one and little collision there and she goes down at the 18 up quickly and back into the game Cronkright stepping up nice hard tackle there by both players she comes away with it and deflected out by the Patriots We'll have Gabby Dumas coming back into the game for the Cougars. And the Cougars getting called for a push on the far side right in front of the Patriots bench. Prentice set to take this free kick. Hollister looking to cut that back. She has it taken away. Breaking the 18. Ball just past the diving Racine. Right across the mouth of the goal of Patriot there, but just unable to get a foot on it. Great opportunity there by the Patriots. And wide open net, but it wasn't meant to be. The Cougars will have a goal kick here after that scoring opportunity for the Patriots. So with 11 minutes left, Patriots knocking on the door, looking to equalize this game before halftime. We'll have Hollister taking this goal kick. She plays it right up the middle. Kaiser comes away with inside the 18. Nice hard shot right into Dumas. Dumas, or correction, Racine bobbles that one, but able to keep it in front of her and out to the 18 with the ball. Nice punt by Racine. Sample with a nice through ball looking up for her cousin Bryn. And safely played out of bounds 
by the defense. Dumas trying to turn that one inside. She's sandwiched by two Patriot players. McComb battling. Still maintains possession. Turns the ball back and some good hustle there by the Patriots to recover that ball. Gagnon battling on the far side, and both players got their arms up. Both go down, and which way will the call go here? Gagnon going to get called for the foul there as they both go down. There was Haley Tender battling with her there. Good hustle by both players, and we'll have a free kick here for the Patriots. Long ball played into the 18. Gagno clearing that one out, and that was Tender once again battling with Gagno. So they're going back and forth here towards the end of the first half. Patriots on the end line looking across that ball and right into the goal. Correction, I thought that was going into the back of the goal, and that's cleared out by the Cougars. So another good opportunity there by the Patriots. Patriots putting some good pressure on here. Uh, Cougars defense. Not sealing the deal back there right now and giving the Patriots some excellent opportunities. So the Patriots thrown in the corner. Kate Knapp looking to the far side for right wing and broken up by Kate Houghton. Houghton in pursuit of the ball. And Tender sends that one out of bounds at midfield. The Cougars have a substitute waiting at half field now coming in. It's That was Brindley LaFountain coming into the game. So on the right side, we've got Bryn Sample with the ball. She chips it into the corner of the six yard box and still well out to grab that one. Hollister looking to play that ball. A little missed up there and great job recovering. She slows up the offensive player, Emma Crowning Shield. And that one played out of bounds by the Cougars. Crowning Shield throwing this one in. It'll be Kaiser in this corner. She'll be working that ball with Hollister. Kaiser taking it away, nice cross into the six yard box and Racine able to make that save. So the last, I would say six, seven minutes here, the Osable Valley Patriots putting the offensive pressure on, um, have had the better scoring opportunities. Looking to equalize this game before halftime. We're down to 550 left here in the first half. Cougars still leading one nothing, and we'll have, I believe that was an obstruction call on the far side by the Patriots. And Leah Colomb will take this kick. Colomb looking for McComb. Sample turning this one, looking to rep a shot. Nice hard shot and just wide of the net. So 
Good trap and turn there by Sample. Great idea, but just a little wide. Sample stepping in front of this one into the 18, takes a shot right on that and another save. So Cougars reacting well on those goal kicks, stepping in front of the Patriots players and uh, trying to create a scoring opportunity. And that's exactly what McComb did on her first goal. And McComb turning the wheels on on the left side, takes a shot and a nice save once again. So a seesaw battle here. Just got done saying the Patriots having the better scoring opportunities, more hustle over the past six minutes, and now the Cougars with three quick shots, three scoring opportunities. Nice cutback by Sample to the end line, looks to cross the ball, and Marley Sample with it makes a turn, goalie out and picks it up. And good hustle there by the Patriots goalkeeper to come out on that one and pick it up as Sample was looking to bury that one in the back of the net. Gagno playing that back to midfield, right to the feet of a Patriot player. That's uh, Lydia Bruno in the middle. Bruno now working the far side, her and McComb. Ball deflected off Bruno, and McComb will take a quick throw, and she'll have to wait on that. We have a substitution. That's going to be number five, Sarah Grennan, coming into the game. Cronkite with a long ball into the 18. Sample coming in, head ball onto the hands of the keeper, and a good heads up play there by the goalkeeper to get her hands on that one as Sample just looking to pop that one over the goalkeeper. Patriot player taking a ball. Not sure if that was. I guess that was a handball. Patriot player looking to protect herself there and got her hand on the ball. Gagno taking that direct kick and sent out by Stanley. So. Stanley getting pushed down by Dumas. Dumas called for that foul, and Patriots with a free kick here, down a minute 45. So that ball goes by two Cougar players in the corner. Hollister looking to recover and play that one up. And a long ball played into Racine. It's going to take a big bounce, and Racine able to get her hands on that one. One minute. So Houghton working that ball on the far side right in front of the Patriots bench. That's sent out of bounds by Al Sable. So 
So we'll have a stoppage for a foul on the Cougars. Correction on that, throw in for the Patriots. So down to 10 seconds here. Patriots looking for one last scoring opportunity. And it looks as though that'll be the completion of the first half here at Northeastern Clinton. The Cougars leading 1-0 over the visiting Osable Patriots on a goal scored by Kaya McComb. Hard to see in the dark. <laughs> All right, we're back in action here in the second half. I got held up by uh, confusion from Blue Line Insurance, so it slowed me up. You know. Tell him the truth, you fell asleep, Calvin. I had to wake him up, sleeping on the job, but he's up and going now. We're back in action. Are you saying I didn't get a contribution from Blue Line Insurance? <laughs> yes, you did. Okay. The woman from Lake Placid there, she's a good fan. So the start of the second half here, the visiting Osable Patriots, Northeastern Cougars, Cougars up 1-0, and they're looking to put a little pressure on here to get that second goal of the game. I've got my insurance through Blue Lion, the car insurance, do you? I absolutely do, I have no choice. <laughs> so, nice ball played up there by the Patriots, that's Kaiser on the left side at the 18, looking to take a shot, and that's deflected off the left leg of Coloma out of bounds, and the Patriots with their first corner kick of the game. We're almost two minutes here into the second half. Patriots hoping to capitalize on this one early in the second half. Patriots lined up on the far side, just inside the 18, and I assume we'll look to break in here on the kick. Patriots one person on the keeper. And Gagno steps out to the corner of the six, clears that one out. And Tender sending that one back in. And that'll be over the end line. So despite the Patriots, as we mentioned at the start of the game, only having two Substitutes available on the bench. They're uh, very aggressive, playing hard here and uh, continually putting the pressure on the Cougars. They don't seem to be showing any fatigue here as the second half starts. And that ball played into Racine and she'll make an easy save on that one. So the Cougars, uh, Coach Superna, subbing pretty regular in the first half. Everybody's seeing some action. We have Tender, correction, Bazayo on the right side playing that one in, and the Patriots with another shot on that. So let's hack it on the far side, working with Cologne. Cologne trying to save that from going over the end line for a corner, and... Does a nice job of playing it off the Patriots player for a goal kick. So this new building up here, Calvin, definitely a little warmer than what it is down there on the uh, fans' benches. I was down there at halftime, and it is much colder down there. Really? And now is McComb looking for Marley Sample. So this is officially our first chilly night, then? It is. It's supposed to be down to 45 tonight.
I'm fine with it though. I take this any night over the end of the season games when it's 35 degrees out. Oh yeah. Cooler days are coming. So Houghton will call back for that. A little far ahead there on the throw. Referee backing him up. Ball thrown into midfield. That was about, about a yeah, three-foot difference. <laughs> That's Houghton looking up for Haley Letourneau. Letourneau. At the flag playing that ball, looking back for Houghton. And the Patriots looking to transition here. Played just a little too much off of Kaiser's foot and gone you over to Hollister. Sample looking to split the defense. She's moving into the 18. Cuts it back to the right. Looks to take a shot. And just waiting a little too long on that one. Nice job breaking that one up was the Patriots defense. We have Dumas going down. Play going on. And a long ball played up. And it'll be a race for the ball. We have Hollister and Tender. And Racine heads up play there coming out to collect that ball. Correction on that, that wasn't tender. That was uh, Bazayo making her own that ball towards the Cougar goal. Sample making a run on the far side. She got two Patriots on her. Able to take that ball away and ball played out of bounds and the Cougars will have a throw and we'll have three substitutes here for the Cougars. Emma Fredette into the game. Cronkry and Gregoire. shot taken there and Racine getting her hands on that one knocking it down right at the six yard box so a good hard shot there by Stanley a lot of goals that scored just like that Chris. they'll have to keep an eye on her because yeah. she definitely can score from that position and um, nice ball played right up to sample sample in the box looking to turn it just can't get a foot on it. Good effort there by the goalkeeper. Still well. Denying Marley Sample and the Cougars the second goal of the game. You see a lot of times, Kelvin, the goalkeeper just not paying attention because the player's 30 yards out and they pop a quick shot yeah. and it's right over the head of the goalkeeper. So Gregoire here on the left side and that's Cleared out of bounds by Rian Apprentice. Sample sandwiched at the corner of the 18. She brings it back out, looking in the middle of the field for McComb. And the Patriots defense standing strong, breaking that one up once again. That ball's chipped up. Stanley looking to take that from Hollister and Hollister turning the wheels on and sends that one up to midfield. And 
sample ridden off the ball over there. Referee letting it go and then calls it back. No advantage, so the Cougars will have a free kick on the far side of the field. Looks as though Leah Colomb will be stepping up to take this one. Colomb asking for 10 yards and Mr. Bayshard will pace this one out. Back in the two-person wall up for the Patriots. So still well yelling out directions for her defense and that ball's Sent back into the six-yard box by the Cougars. Sample looking to get on that one, and Stillwell picking that one up at the end line. So the Patriots catching a lucky break there. Their defense deflecting the ball actually back into the mouth of the goal, giving the Cougars an opportunity as Bryn Sample battling on the end line and the Patriots will have a goal kick. So the Patriots substituting here. That's Lydia Bruno coming into the game. McCombs stepping up looking to grab this ball and it just skips by her. So the Patriots transitioning quickly, a long ball played up and once again Bizzio Looking to collect that one, and it's cleared out by Hollister. Rennie looking for Bazzio. And a long ball played up over the end line by Mauskas. And the Cougars will have a goal kick. So we'll have Gagno coming back into the game. Playing that one right to the foot of Rennie for the Patriots. We have Kaiser looking to move up the field, and Leah McComb doing a fine job defensively pushing the ball outside. Patriots looking for a cross, deflected off of Colom, and the Patriots will have another corner kick here. Patriots putting one player in front of the Cougar keeper. The rest of them lined up the 18. We'll have a short corner and Houghton able to step out on that one and clear it. So that's Amy Visconti in the game on the far side, getting a touch on the ball. She was looking to break up the field all alone, and the Patriots defense getting back on that one.
So a little kickball back and forth here between both teams in the middle of the field. We'll have LaFount and looking up for Sample. Sample just getting a touch on it and over the end line. Sample into the 18. Marley Sample looking to get a shot off from the 18 and deflected out of bounds. And the Cougars will have a corner kick. We'll have Leah McComb making the long run up to take this one on the far side. Cologne with a corner right across the six yard box and no Cougar there to get a foot on it. Patriots looking to transition here. LaFountain at midfield, two players on her and ball taken away and Bruno will head down the left side, sending it to the middle and cleared out by Hollister. Houghton playing up to Marley Sample, left side. We have McComb wide open and that ball's crossed in and broken up once again. Let's see if the Cougars put some pressure on here. Uh, last few goal kicks have been very short, but not much pressure by the Cougars. Once again, a short kick, and the Patriots are able to play that one out of the side. Bren Sample back into the game for Visconti. Nice high cross into the box. Ball takes a bounce. And there a nice head ball there by, I believe, Marley Sample. And uh, right to the hands of the goalkeeper. And we'll have a foul called here on Cronkrite. <clears throat> Zio for the Patriots looking to play that ball. She was ridden off of it, and uh, Patriots will have a free kick here. Cougars holding their line at the 18. Long ball played in, and a misplay there by Hollister, and Racine with a nice save there as she came out to the six-yard box. So referee calls a goal kick for the Cougars. A little confusion there between both teams as to who had possession of that ball. Zyle throwing it in the Kaiser. And that ball played off the face of Gregoire. She holds her face, shakes her head, and it looks like she's good to go. And that ball played off of the toe of Kate Knapp and over the end line. 
So we're halfway through the second half of this game. Cougars still holding a 1-0 lead. Goal scored in the first half, unassisted by Kaya McComb. So the Patriots playing tough here. Definitely a little more aggressive going harder to the ball. Uh, looking to get that equalizer here in the second half as their time is running out. McComb working hard. She cuts this ball back to the middle of the field. Sends a long ball and Haley Letourneau looking to break in on that one and that's sent out by the Patriots defense. Turnal crossing into the middle and no one there for the Cougars. So that was Sophie Rennie looking to collect that ball off her foot and out of bounds and the Patriots will substitute here. Send the sample. Sample looking to take a shot. Breaks in on three. Takes a shot and just past the hands of the goalkeeper. Great hustle there by Marley Sample. Had three defenders on her. Somehow was able to sneak that one through and get a good shot off. So the Cougars with 17 40 second. Seven seconds left here in the second half. Going up 2 0 on a goal by Marley Sample. Bayshard hollered over to have Jeff Dickinson tell us who scored, and Jeff just shook it off. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Jeff. <laughs> oh One thing I got to point out is right there in the front row, Chris McComb. Last night he was sitting in Yankee Stadium watching the Yankees Red Sox. Tonight he's here for this game, just one excitement, exciting thing after another. <laughs> well, I heard he had a, a little delay while he was down there. He was there for a one o'clock game that didn't happen till seven. Yeah, uh, unusual, uh, uh, Tuesday game scheduled for one o'clock, but I guess uh, it was, it's Yom Kippur and uh, they scheduled it early for the benefit of the Jewish audience and uh, Mother Nature had other ideas, so it got pushed back to the seven o'clock time because of the rain. Mother Nature always wins, right? Yeah. <laughs> In this case, uh, Mother Nature's name was Florence. Her game, Florence. And we were we we were lucky. I was looking at the track early on, just before it made landfall, and it was showing the tail end of it as it tracked up the northeast, as some of it hitting us. I, mean, I don't think it was a lot of rain, but oh, it was I went to some. It a couple of inches. Yeah, but it brings back memories of Hurricane Irene. I mean, <laughs> you don't want to wish for no. any remnants of a hurricane, especially when what we saw with Hurricane Irene, it was just uh, astonishing the, the destruction that it caused. And uh, 
Yeah, washed out the, the last remnants of land of make believe down in Upper J. Yep, and that's where. Uh, during that storm, the, that night I went in and uh, got called into work, and I worked uh, down in that area and ended up the next day assigned to Jay and uh, Keene Valley, and it was just utter destruction. Yeah. No watching, White. And always makes you wonder what's going on when you hear people say this is the the storm of the century, and it just seems like we hear that it's the storm of the century, and then a few years later you get something that's even worse. <laughs> it's a new century, you know. So I don't know. You always hear that argument of climate change. I don't know what's going on, but well, ten ten thousand years ago there was glaciers right where we are now. So climate change is part of the. Uh, what, what Earth has been doing? Cy cycle of life, right? Yeah, been changing for millions of years. Ganya with a full arm extension. I don't think the referee got that one, Kelvin. <laughs> Fans aren't happy with that one, and uh, the ball will. Roll over the sideline and we'll have a throw in. So we got the Patriot coach on the field on the far side yelling. It appears the Patriots captain, that's uh, Taylor Hackett, speaking of the referee, looking for clarification on the uh, no call. And Hackett trying to motivate her team, telling her team, don't worry about it. Let's put the ball in the back of the net. That's how you take care of it. Well, the Patriots getting fired up here. They're down to 12.45 left here in the second half, down 2 nothing, and they're looking to get that equalizer. They're motivated and ready to do it. We'll have to see what happens here. So we're playing that ball out of bounds. Patriots throw in here. This will be Sophie Rennie taking it. Ball thrown into the 18. It'll be a high ball played in by Malfkus. Houghton, nice job trying to get that ball up the field, but it's played off of her own player at out of bounds. And Boer will be called for that one for him to the back of the Patriots player. So Patriots with a free kick just here along the sideline in front of us. Blooper played into the top of the 18. Sent in, and that's cleared out by Hollister. So the Patriots down 11-15 here in the second half. They're going to have to start pushing that defense up, taking some extra chances here if they're going to look to even this score up here in the second half. We'll have a goal kick by McComb. McComb going back, playing defense here. Holmes spending quite a bit of time playing defense the last couple of years. And uh, if you're looking for somebody steady back there at the end of the game, that's probably who you're going to want. So a little fountain up to Marley Sample in the middle. She's got one player cutting down the middle. Plays it to the outside, that's going to be 
Addison sample on the far side. And we'll have a foul called on the Patriots. So Audie Hollister is set to take this. Ball played into the six. And the Patriots playing that one back out to midfield. Hollister, aggressive play there, stepping up. Clearing that one into the 18-yard box and Sample and the keeper coming together on that one as Corey Stillwell comes away with it. Bryn Sample, a nice cross, looking for Marley Sample, and over the end line. So the Cougars still up here, 2 nothing with nine minutes left in the second half, and if they come away with this one, they will have one night, Calvin, to prepare for the showdown with Beatmantown. First time they've seen each other since the sectional championship last year. I'm sure that one will be an entertaining game. Oh, this one has certainly been entertaining, Chris. It's, you know, two nothing. Two nothing, but it easily easily could be two nothing the other way. Yeah, you know it's. Um, Patriots have never given up this game. They've had some great scoring opportunities, just haven't been able to find the back of the net. Uh, Racine coming up with a couple good saves, and we'll have a foul called against the Cougars. So Houghton looking for relief, plays it to the other side and an unfortunate break there for Hollister as the Patriots down the left side looking to create a scoring opportunity that's played to the other side of McComb and she's able to corral that one and turn it up the field. The Patriots putting some pressure on here. <clears throat> and the Cougars quickly transitioning. Hollister up to Sample. Sample looking to turn that one away. Gets a shot off and just under the hands of the goalkeeper. And Marley Sample picking up her second goal of the game. And it almost looked as though uh, Stillwell didn't expect that shot from there. And uh, Sample sneaking underneath her. So with 6.28 here left in the second half, Cougars going up 3-0. So back in action here, Marley Sample scoring her second goal of the game. Cougars up 3-0 with 6.20 left here in the second half. Cougar goal scored by number 13, Marley Sample.
So we have Miriam Wakatsumi into the game. Wakatsumi playing up front on offense. Getting ahead on the ball, getting her first touch as she comes in the game. This ball played back to Gagne. Gagne battling at the middle of the field. Ball is spun around her, and the Patriots looking to break in here. So misplay there by McComb. Ball played in and just wide. So the Patriots getting a good opportunity there on the misplay by the Cougars defense. And that was Bazio looking to get a goal here for the Patriots. Bazio putting in a great effort this game, going 110% as most of the uh, Patriots have this game. Working very hard, just haven't been able to get that lucky break and uh, first goal of the game for them. So bounce ball played into the 18. McComb picks that one up. And a misplay by the Cougars. Racine playing that out with her foot to the 18. A nice shot taken and Racine making that save. It appears as Hollister went down on the far side. Not sure what the ailment is, but she's back up on her feet and going. And uh, it's one thing here at the end of the game with it in hand, three nothing. Uh, you hate to see any players going down with injuries, especially going into the Friday night game against Beatmantown, where the Cougars are going to need all the resources available if they plan on picking up a win against Beatmantown. We'll have McComb stepping out of the game. McComb with a fine performance tonight. She scored the Cougars' first goal unassisted in the first half, and then uh, going back to the defensive end of the field tonight to wrap this win up for the Cougars. So Houghton playing that ball down to the Corner, that's Taylor Goodrow getting in on the action. Once again with the ball, she looks to the outside, looking to turn the corner. So Grennan and Houghton working on the far side for the Cougars, looking to keep possession. With your Colombe switching fields, we have number nine, Allie Gregoire. Wack Toomey making a nice run across the field, looking for that ball in the corner, but uh, unfortunate couldn't get that ball there. Colombe with a long shot, a little bit of a blooper, and keeper out to get it. A little misstep there by her, and... The Patriots able to send that out. One minute. So we're down to one minute to play here in the second half. Hollister pulling that ball to the side, beating two Los Able players. Sending it up the field to Taylor Goodrow. She looks to the outside. And the Cougars will have a throw in. Up. 
So it looks as though the game is coming to an end here. The fans are packing up their chairs, bundling up, ready to head out, and we're down to 10 seconds. And on this September 19th, 2018, the Cougars coming away with a 3-0 victory over the visiting All Sable Patriots. Good effort by the Patriots. Worked very hard this game and uh, just didn't get the lucky bounces. Uh, Cougars doing a fine job. Two goals by Marley Sample, one by Kaya McComb. Good job by the defense, and uh, Cougars come away victorious. And on behalf of Hometown Cable, I'm Chris Gagno, along with Calvin Castine. And as always, your viewer support is always appreciated. That's what keeps Hometown Cable going. So if you enjoy watching your local high school sports, please send that check in to Hometown Cable. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.